Bill Alcant to get us going here in match 77. And Sati wasting no time. He gets it over the infield. That's Rahman who goes back. He steps away and he presents the catch and it's gone. Well, Zishan Khan, he wasn't first in the queue, but he ends up taking the catch. Waka Mahmood was circling back, but I just think that Zishan reads this better. He's a good cricketer. Sathi is miserable form with the bat continues. He goes for just two. Takes it on, Samuel, and he gets it. Maximo! Oh, Bilal Khan almost made something out of nothing there. He skated along the boundary. But even if he touched this, there's no way he was going to stay in. The best he could have done is maybe pull it back. Now he cuts, and he cuts into the gap. That's four more. Good batting. Driven down the ground. Lala has some ground to cover, and he won't be able to do it. That's going to run all the way. And he's chopped on. And that time, no real footwork. Had the batter reaching, and Lala breaks through. Well... Lala time coming a little bit early here in match 77. Big moment in the game, and it's all the twos. 22 for two in the fourth over. Wow, he takes a couple of steps down the pitch, but he's found trouble. And Nazir doesn't quite have the power to get it out of the Master International Cricket Ground. Bilal Khan takes the catch with straight to the big left armour. And that's a third wicket down now, 25 for three. Instead, he pushes and he gets it past the mound at points. A long chase for the boundary rider. He won't get there. Great shot by Cornelius. Uh, this will be the start of a new over, and it will be a wicket as Zubair plays all around this one from Sawa Bafridi. So it will be a wicket to start the sixth. 29 for four. And it's full and it's straight. It's a pretty good default ball. A little edge. And what a catch! Well, Farouk Magal has come into the lineup, and well, I don't know what you call this. It's a go go gadget catch, really. He's the fifth wicket to fall, 35 for five. Well, what's this hit? And has it hit anything? Maybe a bottom edge squeeze? It's not, it's given buys. So maybe that's hit the line. Bold him, and Mahmood. Gets the second wicket. And, well, not surprisingly, I said if you if you target the stumps, then you, you're probably going to ask questions that the batters can't answer. And so Mutu thinks it's time to hit the go button, but he does become the sixth wicket to fall. Much of one for seven. They've got four wicket takers that are all lining up for the last over, but they don't think they'll need to, to bother making a choice because it's full, it's straight, and that will be the end of the innings. Waka, it's only a matter of where this bounces. And yeah, that bounces on middle and leg. And yeah, it's taking out the stumps comfortably. Umpire gets that right. Well bowled by Waka. He won't get a chance for his hat trick because that will be the end of the innings. It'll be 44 for seven and done. So, he might have day, like I said, hit their peak pretty early. And that's a distant memory right now. And so, well, we'll roll into the highlights. Well, in the air, and this really should be swallowed. Sathi doesn't drop catches. He's not going to drop this. So Bilal Khan is just in the wilderness, really, with his batting at the moment. He goes after Mutu. He's not the first, and he won't be the last. And Azim Sathi takes a, a very easy catch in the end. Oh, he's bold. I think that's gone straight through his legs. Mutu with a double strike. Well, he's going to have a bit of a laugh about this for Rukma Gaal. Can't believe what's happened here. As he has to go. Again, he gets a bit of a reality check as well, doesn't he? So it's, what's that, two for two? Waka, he's going to drive a four here. That's good batting. He's on the move here, but he keeps his shape pretty well. A bit shorter this time from Mutu. I think this is going to be another boundary. All right, this one could be another wicket. 
It's not going to be an easy catch if he's taken it. Samuel Stanislaus, there's one guy you want going after a challenging catch, and I think Samuel's your man. And he takes that running back with the flight. So Waka goes four, four, and out. Muthu Kumara takes three wickets in the over. Oh, this one really jumps, and I think he's gone as well. So there's another wicket, little edge on the attempted pull shot, and Jarvan got lucky the ball before, but he's run out of luck here. Eswaran breaks through. That's four now. Zalmi, I mean, this has been the issue. I suppose they've relied very heavily on Lala, and so you can see yeah, 11 for four. Well taken by Eunice behind the stumps. Turns this into a full toss, and he's going to get a boundary. And uh, yeah, pretty good shot by Sawa Bafridi. Uh, subscribers as well. Well, this is hacked up in the air, but it's into a pocket of space, and it's going to go all the way. Maximo! He right, goes after this, and this is going to be out of the ground. Maximo! And it will be the end of the over as well. Someone moves to 18 in pretty quick time. Well, this is Sky Cornelius. Well, he gets a chance for a stat, and he drops it. And now it's going to be a run out. Well, what can you say? So of a Freedy. He just sits that straight up in the air. And I'm pretty sure that Cornelius will get half a run out here <laughs> because he does, he does touch it, doesn't he? Let's get it on the replay. Yeah, I'm pretty sure there's a touch there. And <laughs> Yeah, it definitely hits his pad. So, meanwhile, Shakira Freedy wasn't going anywhere. Stanislaus with the ball. And I think this will do it. It'll go to the boundary. So, probably mercifully, this one's put to bed. It might a day. I'll remember this day, hopefully, for that golden ball. Magnificent seven win in the first game. Go back and, and see it if you haven't already in the break. But, uh, yeah, since then, I haven't had a lot to cheer about.